Welcome to Scumcast. Nice. Good Fuck. to hear. <laughs> All right, part Good four, Good to hear guys. you don't fucking know. <laughs> so, part, t- yeah, part two of part three. <laughs> part 3.5. I'll, I'll tell you why you might like Darko. Versus Just make four things. episodes, dude. Make what four I, parts out of this. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got you guys for four for two months straight. Got so it. So what I think, what I think is, I think it's the style because it's a new style. Is so, it? I don't fucking know. So yeah, the I've I've had talks with Corey about this. You know, this style of metal, it originated. I say it originated from the band Sworn In. So I g- Sworn I, uh, In came out and they started yeah. doing like the guitar <laughs> scratches, the weird fucking like time signatures and tempo changes, shit like that. Um, and doing stuff like that, you know, they were they were kind of new. Like, I mean, they, they showed this new style that nobody else was doing. And then years later came out bands like Dealer, Alpha Wolf, Spirit Box, as well as Varials, Varials, Knock Loose. Yeah, exactly. Like yep. I don't so, know if Varials actually I, is categorized under that same thing, though. I know a they, they bit, play. I mean, they play, they, play, play, play really low and really slam like though in a similar yeah, fashion. Yeah. yeah, and like for that, I think people are catching on to the trend of you know Darko and stuff like this because it's new. It has a new style to it. It it is weird. Uh, you listen to it, and it's it's completely something different. It's it's weird. It's, is it like slam, like speed it, I, slam? I, I no, I mean, so, okay. so the way the way that Sworn In labeled themselves as was new metalcore, like new metal, yeah, yeah. but metalcore. Metal core, yeah. So new metalcore, and that's what Dealer took, and Alpha Wolf took that same genre, new metalcore. I don't know what you would consider Darko. I don't know what they are considered, but it, they have the same style as these bands. So, like, the new metal aspect is, the, the way Sworn In took it is record scratches in new metal. Uh, do it on guitar. Too. Do mm. it on guitar instead of the record scratches. So, oh, you, you go back to oh, bands like Tom Limb Morello? Biscuit. You go back to <laughs> bands like Limb Biscuit. You go back to Korn, Slipknot, stuff like that. They were like, yeah, they have record scratches and stuff like that. They got that from rap. Mm-hmm. What if we do that on the guitar? So, then mm-hmm. they started doing guitar scratches. And then later, Dealer picked that up. Then Alpha Wolf picked that up. And now Darko's doing that. Now Spirit Box has songs like that. So it's kind of a new style, which I'm not sure if the genre has coined the term new metalcore or not. But that's kind of, I think that's why a lot of people are gravitating towards these bands that they might not necessarily have gone to before. It's because it's a new style. So to them, it's like, oh, this is something new. It's something it's like fresh. A there. Yeah. Hmm. So. That's Just FYI, boys, we're also at two hours. <laughs> Holy that's fuck. Why I, that's why I was like, God make, damn it. make four parts. No, nah, but. I, I'll figure it out. Anyway, um, anyway, so I think this is a fantastic, fantastic thing. However, we, and we have forgotten Gavin in this question. So, Gavin, I will ask you, what is heavy? All right, man. As my, very as my s- instrumentalist counterpart. Very similar to your answer production you know tone it's got to fill the ears low tunings always help definitely help but more than anything anything, for me it's groove he said the word groove if it's something and you can move that's groovy that's heavy to me something that'll get a body moving makes your head want to bob makes you want to move your body get in the pit and fucking you know dance around something that's like you're like I don't really know how Circle to how, you kind of move around or whatever something that's too slow that's not gonna be heavy to me but when the you know when that breakdown or whatever comes up and it's like and you can yeah. move boom and you know gent gent does a really good job of that with like this you know the skippy type of riffs and dun 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 yeah makes you want to move yeah because it's a lot more percussive sounding. And any genre could be heavy if they accomplish that. You know, like rap. There's a lot of fucking rap songs that are like that where it's just... And you want to fucking move to that. Right. To me, that's more heavy. That's, there's, just, that's just dance music to me. There's Right. I don't know. It's just like... But then, like, certain types of gent, though, are going to make you feel like... They're going to make you feel basically like... 
uh, <laughs> you're going to try to mosh like a schizophrenic cer- mm, a cerebral palsy patient. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> dude, that's, that's another big thing, too, is like 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four has to, you know, or 3-6-8, whatever, something that's like easy enough to follow along to, which mm-hmm. for me, like, Mashuga just does perfect on that. Look at it, you, have, bitch. They have really Look weird. You, bitch. What about me? Going from five, you know, five four to seven four. All my time signatures, guys. Right. But the way that for me, like the way that Mashuga does it is perfect because Thomas is unwavering. It's always going to be four four. God, dude, so. when you when you were uh, so when we were over at your house doing the podcast, like when you were showing me that plethora of Mashuga music, I was just like, holy fuck. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's crazy, and it's like the way that they groove. They'll make these seven four thirteen mm. fucking whatever crazy ass riffs, but it's always. Like over the top, where the layman, the general audience, can just be like, "All right, I know how this beat's gonna go," and they'll fucking bob their heads, and they're all still latching on to something. And to me, that groove, whatever genre it is, pretty much defines the heaviness. Agree. Because if it you, makes you want to move. I agree, that, I wholeheartedly agree with this. If you think that the in, the intro to Icarus Lives is not the grooviest shit ever, you're yeah, fucking wrong. That is the fucking coolest song. You don't even like them. I told you I like the he instrumental the first album. album. The first okay, one is the right, only one that has right, a fucking right. instrumental. I will forgive you for this. I will, for, I will forgive you this point. I've always liked their. I've been listening <laughs> to that album Your like, way before I met you. Your sins have been for fucking liking the, the Icarus Lives intro. Yeah, right. that was. I always, dude, honestly, when I heard that song back when like I was, yeah. when I was like back in high school and then I heard that song, I was like, dude, this is fucking tight. <laughs> I mean, that was also around the time my dad showed me Mashuga <laughs> and stuff, and I was like, oh, all these low tunings. The first Mashuga song I ever heard was that New Millennium Oh, my yeah. God, New song. Millennium Sinai Christ. Dude, that Fucking song a. hits so yeah. hard. And it, it does. I love that ending. The ending, yes. Dan, I showed Dan, him that ending, and he wants me to put it down. Yes, I started playing it, and then he couldn't follow along, and he's like, I want you to put that down. It's like 3, 5, all you hear is, and then 3, 7, 2. Right or something. Something like that. A, it all adds Remember up to sixteen. Corey, I showed you. I played that ending that Mashuga song, and you want me to put it down so you can like try that's and a, learn it. That's the one that goes. Yeah. Bum, bum, yep. Yeah, but but at the very ending, he's talking about where it's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right, and it's like really weird because it's. See that stuff, I can understand really easily. I love that stuff. It's yep. fucking groovy. And then after That's the burial, take, you know, took that fucking same groove and you know, did Cursing Akintaken with that. Really? I'll yep. have to listen to that one. I've been listening to... I've been listening to a lot of After the Burial lately. And it, to me, sounds more and more like Meshuggah with like each fucking riff that I hear. I'm like, God, these guys just ripped off Meshuggah, but it's all right. It's when I first showed you Periphery. It's okay, because everyone does. Yeah, Yeah, they're genty. I mean... They What's funny about my periphery fandom is I didn't discover them till like two years ago. Really? Yeah, I had no really? idea who they were until two years ago. And you know Bro, what the I first song I heard was? Crush. I don't know. It's not even a fucking it's like gent a song. It's like a fucking synthy song. It's like... Dun, 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 that's probably why I don't know it. <laughs> it's also a new record. Nothing like oh, any of the rest why. of them. I was like, what the fuck is this? This is awesome. And then I listened to all their other stuff and I was like, what in the fuck? Is this... Because I didn't know what gent was. Remember when Jared Dines was like, oh, fucking gent 2020. I didn't know what that was. I was like, "What's Gent?" Like, I don't even. I didn't know what Gent was until two years ago. See, the thing is, is that like I feel like a he- like he- these terms like heavy, Gent, metalcore, every- all these words and terminology and like all of music, is more so of like a collective like unsaid rule. Does anyone kind of get? Mm, does anyone kind of understand what I'm getting out here? Yeah, I see what you're saying. There's a lot of like nomenclature that like doesn't make any sense. Like, right. It, do- it doesn't really have any meaning. It's just kind of like the way we cope with new shit <laughs> and like in our like our insatiable need in order to categorize things yeah yeah i mean pigeonholing has always been there and we've always wanted to categorize something just to make it easier to identify you know oh this band is gent well, i might like this other band because they're also called gent you know it's just like anything else it's like colors right it's like you like black well if there's something else that's another color but close to black just call it black and you'd be like, oh, I like that color, too, because it's close to black. See, it's like when you guys or say, like... Vanta black. Oh. Ooh. Damn, Ooh. the plug. Branding. Put the, the plug, plug for <laughs> Sponsor, <episode>. sponsor. <laughs> sponsor. This episode's sponsored by, this episode's sponsored by Vanta black. <laughs> They're paying us. <laughs> yeah. No, well, but uh, it's like even with Meshuga and stuff, like, when the people say, oh, look how heavy it is and all these, the fucking low tuning. To me, I just say groove. It's, it's just groovy. Very it's fucking groovy. fun to listen to. 
Yep. I don't think it's necessarily heavy. I just find it groove, groovy and fun to listen to. It's something yeah. I can like do an Irish da- jig to if I really want to. I can do any dance to. I can do the stanky leg to. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like, that's what it is. And, th- and for me, similar to Corey, like I asked earlier, is like, what if you don't know the words? Is it still heavy? To me, like, Meshuggah is heavy, and I don't, I don't fucking know what he's saying 99% of the time. He doesn't even use growling. He, he does fries. He just fries yeah. the whole time. Yeah. And, like, I don't know what the hell he's saying, so lyrically, I'm like, deaf to it but to me it doesn't I'd help that he's heavy. also swedish swedish yeah he's swedish yeah, yeah. but i mean his his english is pretty good oh, well, okay. and the thing is is that like you and like for instance you and i gavin like we don't like basically like we don't even think about the lyrics we don't like really. i don't to like me, shit like I, i'm not even gonna lie to you like i don't even know the half the lyrics to our songs frankly like just simply be like the only reason why i know is because i li- i've listened to them like and i can distinct and i can hear distinct like lyrics in it but if you told me what the lyrics were from front to back on any one of our songs, I could not tell you. I am like, I, like I said, basically, like I'm complete instrumentalist, complete. I think a key takeaway from this conversation is <coughs> heavy. Your classification of heavy can change with the fucking hour. You know it's what perspective. I mean? Yeah, it's it perspective. depends on like mood, timing, like oh, so many factors that it's just, it's just an interesting question to ask yourself because it's like you want to know. I I like being locked in with myself in my brain so i like i want to know how i work and that's something that i ask myself a lot yeah and like one last one last thing that i thought about too on the way uh out right now i was just thinking about it i noticed something that i when i talk about musically i tend to say the word brutal instead of heavy Mm. so like if something comes out and like let's say i want to show my girlfriend something or or a friend a new song or something I'll be like, yo, this is a brutal song. Like, the the vocals are brutal. So, like, in that case, that might be me differentiating what heavy is versus, uh, you know, uh, saying something is emotionally heavy or mm-hmm. musically heavy. I find myself saying brutal a lot when it comes to, like, musically heavy songs. I'll be okay. like, yo, this, this new song is brutal. Yeah. Like, so that's... Oh, that's, that's the a, way yeah, that's I a good thing. Yeah, yeah I like that. I just thought about that. I yeah. never thought <laughs> thought that about myself, but I was like, you know what? I do say that, and that might be the reason why. Yeah, you yeah. like classify it in a way that's like natural because you're not you you need everyone needs a way to like classify stuff. But it, yeah, it, you know, it does make a lot of sense though because you know I'll say, oh man, these guys fucking slam, or I'll be like, oh this shit. Instead of saying that it's heavy, I'll be like, yo, this is disgusting, or I'll be like, bro, listen how nasty this shit is. Something there's like more that. adjectives than heavy. There's, yeah, there's more you than just I mean? that, but it's like, at the root of it all, still, what is heavy is the question. <laughs> well, what? I think that pretty much summed it up right there. Pretty much. we got like four different opinions, some of them in common, some of them not. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, it, this got hella philosophical, like hella quick. This, this will, well, I will as, have to say, I say hella quick, but hella even quick. though we're like four parts in right now, right, I will have to say turn. this. This is the podcast where we've done the most serious. Yeah, topics. usually it's all masturbation jokes. That too, yeah. It kind of indicates that we should hang out more. Probably, I agree. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just like it always is like with the person too. Like, oh, who is this person? Are they cool? Like with this and wherever the topics go, and then it's like. That's just pretty much the the great thing about this podcast. We just flow with the topics. Fun yeah, fact, we went though. from fucking music to like video games to horror to this, and it's like, yeah. Uh, fun <laughs> fact, <laughs> <but> <laughs> 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 right? Fun fact, though, you guys are actually the second band that we have on. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Who's the other one? Lethian. Those those dudes are hell hilarious, dude. Yeah. I gotta watch that episode now. Yeah, I don't know that I've heard them. Um, oh, they it's ha- not out yet. Yeah, it's oh, not okay. out yet. Um, okay. we're still waiting on Aaron's third part. <laughs> oh yeah. shit. Like in Aaron Acero? Yeah. Oh, okay. I heard the ones with him. I heard two of them with him. Yeah, yeah he has two. a three parter. Oh, okay. And then Lethian has three parts, and now you guys have like. Four. Yeah, because they, it's just like that. We keep getting these conversations going, and they just keep lasting and lasting. I know, but that's our. I don't know, show man. Is, like but I, we we yeah. fuck up by only doing like one episode at a time, so they're like two hours, like yours, and we're like. Nobody's going to sit here for two hours. That's why we changed it to a half hour each. Because yeah. we know America has a very short attention span. And oh, we yeah. like our picture books and we like our fast food pictures. And we look at a fucking burger on the screen and we're like, I want that one. I oh, want well, that. Basically. And it never actually shows up like on the picture. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that Ever. is also very true. Everything's a lie. Yeah. 
so yeah that is a good segue for our outro we always ask like what is a food like if any kind of, it doesn't has doesn't have to be fast food but any restaurant fast food place that you like and then we just kind of like give a rating scale off of it so fast basically the rating, give a rating scale so the rating scale is going to be 10 is spaghetti one or zero is sloppy joe we're still kind of figuring out everything else in the middle. Yeah, we just kind of like we just kind of bullshit the middle part. I heard just three like, was salad, right? I, I seven was like a salad. I think. I don't. I don't remember. Really you, you, you can't really. Salad's either a salad. seven or a three. Wait, like okay, that. so you got to explain the rating system one more time. Oh, okay. We only know the extremes of both. Yeah, just do the extreme. We don't have to worry about the rating. So name we, name, we name your spaghetti. Name a what? What is your spaghetti? Which is what What's is your, your ten out of ten restaurant? My ten out of ten restaurant. Or fast food place, or man, you know. I'm not even gonna cap. I could go to McDonald's every day of my life and be fine. Ooh, that that hurts. Yeah. Sloppy Joe. I'm that deleting is, this whole. Shut episode. the fuck up. You go I to McDonald's all the time. I am deleting this whole fucking episode now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I just. Nah, you're good, buddy. What I did fucking, you? What did you get? What did you put it as? What? Did you already rate it? McDonald's. Yeah. Dude, that's a hell of Sloppy Joe. The only reason why I ever go to McDonald's is for the fucking nuggets. Yeah, I'm going to say Sloppy Joe, man. They, they're they're overpriced. That's fair. Well, I don't know about overpriced. They're I think hella it, overpriced. I think for what it is, it's it's decent enough. Where okay. It's like I could you can live. get like $1.50 chicken nuggets at Burger King. Well, <laughs> like, and it's like the same shit. Okay, so a couple things, though. You, you also got to take in consideration we are also going to the McDonald's in Casa Grande. It doesn't matter. I've been to McDonald's it's, everywhere else. It's the same fucking shit. <laughs> so have I. And actually, it's not. It's always slightly worse. <laughs> it's over <laughs> here. I, in my experience, it's always been slightly worse. And that literally goes for every chain restaurant out here. It's kind of funny. You mentioned you never get what's on the picture in the thing. Like, I'm not like maybe it's McDonald's like brainwashing or something. I'm a fucking conformist. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's like fucking McDonald's brainwashing or something. But like. I haven't – it's only bad, I'd say, like, 1% of the time. It's like 1 out of 10 is a bad McDonald's meal, I'll be honest. Like, I I kind of go back and forth between the, um, the Bro, fucking quarter, double quarter pounder and then, like, a 10-piece. Like, I, I flip between those two. That's the only I thing I get. I can't give them my money. I can't – well, I can't, do the, I can't do the burgers anymore. I can definitely do the chicken, though. But the problem is, is like I said, you know, yeah, you know how for you it's always, like, 1 out of 10, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, I'd rather go to Jack in the Box ten more times. Uh, I'll go to Jack no. in the Box. Wait, who, dude. Not, so here's no. why we don't like Jack in the Box. It's because there was one across from our base, and it's basically drunk food. Yeah, no. that's the fun part about Jack in the Box. It's like uh, a that problem. Can that can yeah. be part of it. I don't know. Problem? Personally, I like McDonald's more than Jack in the Box, though. Jack in the Box is like one of the bottom. But think food. about yeah, it. When no, you order the, your food from Jack in the Box, sometimes you get more food than what you get what you, that you ask because they're all like stoned or drunk working there. So, <laughs> so it's so like you're a, exploiting the, the workers. Working class. Up. Wow, dude. Well, dude, okay. like it's like a loot crate. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> every time you order, every time you order from Jack in the Box, it's a mystery bag. Fucking, you don't know if you're getting your order. Or not. Fucking legendary right. meal. Oh boy, ain't wrong though. Yeah, Dude. so I will give Jack in the Box a solid salad. Seven Jack in the Box. Sometimes you can you can get your order. Okay. Sometimes Jack in the Box is always hella oily. Every time it's greasy as fuck. Okay. Okay. And okay. Okay. I, I can see no, where it's he's... not. It's, it's actually really well done, and that may be just the one I go to, but it's always well done. They're like, okay. oh, Tyler's coming in. We so gotta... when I, I guess. <laughs> okay, so when I used to work over at West Dolly Barbecue down in downtown Chandler, there was a Jack in the Box that's on like Ray and uh, Cooper, mm-hmm. Ray and Cooper. Okay. That I would always stop by before I went home because literally at my parents' house was Cooper and Warner. And oh, I was wow. Still, okay, yeah. that's where we used to live. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, oh did you – the islands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, yeah, my parents live in the islands. Oh, shit. They're pretty before, sick. Before this house, we lived in the islands. Yeah, we rented like over there. Oh, okay. Right there behind the fries. Yeah. The McDonald's right there, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I hate that, that McDonald's, McDonald's also go, does well. I don't know if it's been a while for you, but it's it usually is good. That one is, at least now. So that one – yeah, that one has actually been good. It's still it's still kept doing okay. it. Cool. Hell yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, no. So I would go to that Jack in the Box on Ray and Cooper. Right? Yeah, every I know time. Exactly the one you're talking about. Yeah. So I'd literally be we stop there every time, <laughs> and he's not wrong about it being a fucking loot crate. Yeah. So like I'd say like seven out of ten, it would just be normal, right? Like I always get I, I get the same goddamn thing, chicken tater melt munchy meal. Of course. With a coke, every of time. Of course, right. Six dollars and eighty something cents. Each That's time, yeah. so we do that in seven times out of ten. 
it would be normal. You'd get what you'd expect. Two times, they'd probably like either forget a taco or the the sandwich is made shitty. See, that's or, the fun part about it. Or, 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 hold on, hold go on, ahead, go hold ahead. on. Or, or the fries were like really fucking old. Dog ass. Yeah. Dog ass, yes. But then there was that one time where for some fucking reason, uh, the fries are just filled in each nook and cranny outside of everything else in the box. That's true. I've gotten <laughs> Jack in the Box bo- bo- bags where the bitches, right? like, they just threw shit in there. I was like, all right, yeah, cool. Exactly. It, it's a fucking loot crate. But yeah. even at McDonald's worst, fries, they're always good, even if they're not that good. I will say their fries are good. That they Just do, not worth the price. They lose their heat so fast. They do. You have to absolutely smash them down. It's like fruity pebbles. Or <laughs> yeah, pebbles. exactly. You got to eat them before they get soggy. Yeah. But I will say this. Like, the thing about Jack in a Box. That's what I said about your mom. Oh! Ooh! She's okay. oily. <laughs> <laughs> She's greasy. She's greasy. She had a little swamp down there. <laughs> no, but the fun thing about the munchie meals at Jack in a Box is, yeah, you can eat them separately. Or you can treat them like a Lunchable <laughs> and put them all together. Like, you can put your taco on your sriracha burger, put some <clears throat> fries on there. It tastes fucking good. Wait. Did you make that pause. up or did Thomas? I was drunk. Run it back So real you quick. did then? <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. I made did you say up. sriracha you did, burger? But, yeah, if you get the sriracha burger. Oh, it's so good, dude. They have a sriracha burger. That's okay. the part of the munchie so, meal. Yeah. All right, I'm going this, there on the way this. home. It's oh. a burger. Oh, my God. With I think- sriracha and curly fries in it. And then you can put the taco on the burger Eat the taco burger. It's like a Lunchable. I'm an absolute the, fucking t- simp. I'm a cuck burger. for sriracha. Dude, I love yeah. sriracha so it's much. It's like – it's MSG oh my God. at its best. You're combining two separate sandwiches of two different cultures, my friend. It doesn't mm. matter, man. At Jack in the Box, they're all cooked in the same we oil. We steal all the cultures. That's what they're we're going to do. They're all cooked in the same fucking fryer. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Forced upon melting pot. So what is, what is your restaurant, Gavin? All right, that's, so that's tr- wow, that went on a real big tangent. <laughs> well, because like, Tyler triggered. That was like ten minutes long. <laughs> he picked like the biggest bandwagon fucking right. restaurant. Hell yeah! So I like Spirit Box too. Is that a big surprise? So there's, I don't think he. Do you know Spirit Box? Yeah, he named him just a bit ago. Well, he may have named them in passing, but you do listen to them. The band Spirit Box. No. Oh. Okay. Maybe you named him. I, I named it. Oh. Okay. Or, yeah, listen hey. to Spirit Box. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. Go ahead, Gavin. Uh, tell, us your, tell us your Sorry, restaurant. Sorry. I... So it's like... Okay, so back when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> it all started. Right? Back when I was younger. Now, there was this restaurant. I have been. I just went to the fr- for the first time. We had just got one in this town that was kind of close to where we, where we were. And it was called uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, my God. And I was... Dude, first time I went there, I was like, wow, this shit's fucking fire. And I didn't go there for a long ass time, until like a year or two ago. And uh, uh, I fuck with it hard. He's a B dub simp. No, honestly, like the burgers are really good and the wings are really <laughs> good too, and that's all I get. I was just there wings last night. Wings are my favorite type of food, and I hate B dubs. B dubs so, used to slap. Do you hard, like bone so. in? I I like either. Oh, I, I like either. So like how I feel about bone in versus boneless, it just depends on my mood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like. Well, do you like people shit on boneless because it's like, oh, it's just adult chicken nuggets with s- sauce, right. sauce chicken nuggets. Yeah, that's true, but it still slaps. It's like, yeah, it slaps. Yeah. Well, yeah. do you so like Wingstop like, more or something? What was that? Wingstop. Do you like that more? I do like Wingstop, <clears throat> but uh, this could be just a personal reason. But my uh, cousin, she passed away now, but she was a manager uh, at a Hooters. So when I was little, I would get free Hooters wings all the time. Mm. So now. Hooters is still my favorite wing. Okay. And then, so on top of Hooters, I I love Native. Uh, okay. Yeah. But yeah. Wingstop is good too. But yeah, I just I don't know for some reason B Dubs taste like fast food wings, like I overpriced fast food wings. I get that it tastes like, kind of like fast food, but for me they're really good. And have you had their burger? Yes, I have. I love that burger. Their burgers are bro. Good. You can't really mess up the burgers. I love up there. I love their burgers. I mean, he raves I, about fucking what is that? Texas Roadhouse. He's Texas like, Roadhouse get their burger. I'm like, no one goes to Texas Roadhouse for a fucking yeah, you burger. Get it for a bro, steak. you don't yeah. go to Texas Roadhouse for anything but the peanuts. Fuck out of here. <laughs> right? No, the <laughs> or the bread. I want to wait in line for the peanuts the and then leave. <laughs> no, it's the rolls with the honey butter. That's the only reason you go. Those are also pretty, true. Those are pretty also good, true. Too. I actually forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. Those rolls with the honey butter. That's the only reason anyone goes. But if you have Texas Roadhouse burger, it's really good. The cactus thingy 
the onion rings. Oh, yes. Oh, the fucking uh, the cactus flower. Blo- yeah, that's like so cheap for how much you get. Those things dude. are sick. Anyways, B Dub's rating. <sighs> I give it a I, I give it a mid tier. So a salad. It's a salad a for C me. A C tier or a B tier? Like, are you saying like a seven salad? Yeah, I'll give it a set. Actually, you know, what? I'll give, I'll give, it, I'll bump it up. Reason why I say that is because like I don't have any particular reservations like against it. I enjoyed their burgers, uh, their wings. Basically, the only reservation I had was the way we felt after going to B Dubs and practicing. And it oh sounded like yeah, don't ever shit. eat, don't ever eat B Dubs and then practice. You feel oh like yeah, shit. yeah, Jesus no. Christ. Yeah, we were just like, dude, what the fuck is going on? It was like, was it because we went to B Dubs earlier? <laughs> like, yeah, I felt like I lost everything I learned. Dude, like, B Dubs. I will say one thing about B Dubs is that they are inconsistent as fuck when it comes to wings. I cannot get a, a wings that are good like sequentially. Bro, it's, how the f- how do you fuck up wings though? I exactly. made wings. That's what I'm saying. I how do made, you fuck wings I make wings. There's one that's right by our house and like that one it's I ass. don't know I don't know why it's always so fucking dry. The burgers are still pretty good, but like I've been to some B-dubs that are way better Tens. than the one next to our house. Yeah. I will so say Zeke's wings slap though. Consistent. They do. What, what'd you say? Zeke's, the place that he worked at. Before. So I okay. used to work at a place called Zeke's. If you want to go try them out, they're Zeke's over Grill. On, no, Zeke's, uh, uh, Zeke's Pizza and Wings. Mm. Huh. It's a I'm pizza. It's that. a pizza place. They have a deal on Sundays, I believe. Yeah, ten cent. Or well, I don't know what the deal is anymore because that in price actually increased when uh-huh. COVID hit, and I haven't been back since. Whatever it was, it was good wings. So I actually liked it better than. They're B-dubs. Tyson wings, but basically they'll just. <laughs> That's that must be it. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Uh, Tyson, they got, they got the what is B Dubs using? Banquet, great value. <laughs> Honestly, if I had to guess, probably still Tyson. You think so? They just cook them shit. Like I'm saying, consistently. Tyson is a general fucking is a general fucking supplier that of chicken. About right, you know yeah. who's never disappointed me is fucking ATL wings. They destroy. I don't know that one. What? ATL. Yeah, they're pr- they're pretty damn good wings. It's... I've never had it, but I've heard. Of is that like right by Jolie's? Yes, it is. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, I was like ATL. Why I keep remember seeing that? There's I used to go to Jolie's all the fucking time. Yeah. Dude, there's like you trying to go to Jolie's right now or what's up? Like, <laughs> quit fucking around, bro. Go. I got fucking work in the morning. I can't <gasps> do that. <laughs> hey, next time you guys go out that way, let's go to Jolie's. I'm fucking down though. Hell let's yeah. go. Right. Rip Little, it up. Always well, get a fucking dose. Let's do it. We gotta end this podcast. First of all, I'm gonna give my rating of B dubs. I'm gonna say it's a below salad. So like a salad with like you know like when they start getting a little bit of brown on the lettuce. Oh mm-hmm. no, man! If you want to like, talk for about bit... nine more minutes, we got we can make it to the five part. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> but uh, we we got. I'm just gonna say a six salad because like it is. I will agree with you, Tyler. Sometimes it's inconsistent. So, yeah, it was nice having you guys. Um, would you wanna? Sponsor any of your shit, throw it out there. Throw Say in that everything. plug. Plug I mean, it in. I mean, you've you've heard already at the beginning. Pros and cons band. At pros and cons band on Instagram, Facebook. Follow Vanta Black Studio only fans? AZ. Follow Vanta Black uh, OnlyFans. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys have an OnlyFans? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe. Yo, send them feet pics, bro. <laughs> shit. <laughs> and toesies. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Follow Sweet. me. I'm Jack Johns on fucking Instagram. Like croissants. <laughs> like croissants. That's the that, best that's Instagram you, handle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because, well, everybody was fucking up my last name when I was in the Marines, and they were like, how do you say your last name? And I was like, just, just say plissants. Like croissants. Oh, okay. Oh, I that's thought it was story. plaisants. It, it, yeah, okay, yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Well, so you just you just offended matter. him. You're right. just whitening it. it really Bro, you're talking to the guy who basically grew up hurting Matiabus. Oh yeah, you're Egyptian, that's right. Like it really I, it really doesn't matter, but like when I was in, so many fucking people were calling me Plaissants. I just was like, just call me Plaissants. It's Plaissants, Plaissants. Like croissants. Is that, is that how it's being? actually spelled? Or uh, is that actually how no, it's No, it's actually like Plaissants. Plaisons? It's a little French, you know, but... Well, Francois? It's like saying planes. Honestly, I don't oh. fucking care. People Plaisons? call me appliance. They'll call me plasience. I don't, whatever. Sure. I'll call yeah. you... Uh, hey, hey, uh, 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 I'll match you on that. Mateibus, Matabias. Matabias. Uh, yeah, Matabias. Mateibus. 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 My God. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's supposed to be. I I have even had my name butchered in front of crowds of people <laughs> at a school concert. <laughs> Yikes! It was beautiful. It was I I I never felt such just Disgust. sweet bitter embarrassment. You're just, in my like, life. just call me just call me Corey. <laughs> right. I'm just right? like just, just call just me say M. 
Call me slightly don't, mean. Don't, don't even attempt it. Just put M as a Mary. I'm a he. I'm a he <laughs> slash I'm a him. they. I'm a he slash him. Anyway, before we get too stupid, thanks for having us, guys. Really yeah, appreciate no it. Problem. Dude, always a fucking pleasure to have you gentlemen over here. No, just this one time. Yeah. yeah. After this, we're done. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll no, have, we'll, we always like say to you, to our guests and stuff like like if you guys want to come back for seconds, you know, seconds, you know, a little, little bit of little bit gang bang for the second time, you know. Oh, yeah. man, we gotta you down to do another episode. We like gotta get Jacob on ours pretty soon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you, you want guys, me to come or do you want me to stay out since you only no, you did me last no, time? I want you, no, I want you to come. All no, you can come. Show. I don't want him to oh, come. You can even fucking come. Hell yeah, I want everyone to come. All right, yeah. sweet. All right, I want everyone to come. The more you people, the more people that come, the more satisfied I am. I like that idea. <laughs> How many times have I done that throughout this episode? Uh, three. <laughs> okay, this is third. <laughs> All, right, All right, boys and girls, that will that will conclude the podcast. Everyone want to say a goodbye? I'll say it first. Goodbye. Au revoir. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh-huh. Thanks for joining us for this lovely episode of Scumcast. Be sure to stay tuned for our next episode as well as like and subscribe. Don't forget to have hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all of our content. Thank you for listening, you scumbags.